Hey guys, welcome to a new series. <laughs> Been loving this. So welcome to 500 pound girl. So, so as you guys know, the, the most weight that I have ever lost at once has been 89 pounds. <laughs> and this was like, geez, 10 years ago. And it's like, I always wanna reach this 100 pound loss. And it's like, whenever I get close, something happens. So in this series, I will be showing you my daily weights. So this series is me counting my calories, showing you guys what I eat every single day, and doing daily weigh-ins until I reach 100 pounds down. This is a goal for me that I need to succeed in <laughs> because it's time, folks. It is time to reach that 100 pounds down because I just feel like it is a milestone I can't seem to reach. I've lost 100 pounds, but I have lost 89. I've lost 89 pounds twice now. Um, last time it happened was around the time where I was diagnosed with uterine cancer. So we wanna do this as a new and improved Amber Lynn, not because of ailments or illnesses, but because I'm trying and I'm being successful. So in the last week, I have been, you know, practicing the whole eating less and uh, counting the calories, but at a lower limit than I was doing for the 10 days. And I'm being successful in my weight loss because today I weighed in at 486.4. Uh, oh, um, yes. So that means we have about 14 pounds, give or take some ounces, to reach 100 pounds down. So for the series, you're just gonna follow a 500 pound girl trying to reach 472.4. So I'm 486. Oh wait, no, it's exactly 14 pounds. 572.4 was my heaviest, and we're trying to get to 472.4. So once I reach that, we'll be down 100 pounds. We can celebrate a bit. We have a lot more to go after that, but I just want to focus strictly on reaching that milestone. Um, so yeah, let's get into it, you guys. Let's do this thing, episode one. I hope that you guys enjoy this because it, I'm gonna be down 100 pounds soon because I'm not starting the series to fail I'm starting it to succeed wow okay let's do this hello hi welcome to episode 2 of me reaching 100 pounds my weigh in today was 485.8 so in this series I'm trying to lose 100 pounds so this means I am down 86.6 pounds. So if anyone's wondering how long it's taken me to lose this weight, since I was 11, <laughs> that was my first diet. I just hate when people collectively think that just because I've documented my YouTube journey of wanting to lose weight but actually gaining means that all of the progress I have made isn't like real, which isn't true. To reach this size, People like me, I know based on experience, I have met a lot of people because of YouTube. I've gotten very close to people my size based on like 600 pound life and just like documentaries and other people sharing their stories. Uh, it's all the same thing. We yo-yo diet, we do every diet in the world. It causes us just to binge, makes our emotional eating, our food addiction just worse, etc., etc. It's just like the yo-yo dieting, you know? And it's just like, we keep gaining weight, and we gain weight, and we gain weight, and we gain weight. Mine happens to just be documented. So if mine wasn't documented, then people wouldn't be like, well, you haven't lost this much weight in this many years. Well, no shit. Even if it wasn't documented, of course not. Um, it's just, I don't know. So I have lost this 86.6 pounds since last summer. Um, 572.4 was my heaviest a few years ago, and I was three pounds away from that last year. Only three pounds. Um, I got back up to 569 after losing 80 something pounds due to cancer, honestly. Um, but then I got broken up with, I got into a new relationship, and then another new relationship. 
relation like it's just been a lot <laughs> it's been a lot of different changes in my life um mentally physically uh family life personal life my life just there's been a lot of changes so something kind of snapped into me last year where i was like okay i need to lose weight for real um i had really good support systems still do you know in the beginning of diets that's when people are the most motivated so i've been stalling for a while now let's be honest but i just feel like i have a clearer mind i think it's a lot to do with therapy and seeing a psychologist and i think it kind of is just taking a lot of mental weight trauma weight off of me which is helping take off physical weight i feel like you guys can't take me seriously with my hair like this but it's fine so anyways yeah Lost 86.6 pounds in total since last year. Very, very happy with that. Um, so that means we have 13.4 more to go for me to lose 100 pounds. And I should have already done this years and years ago. I know. I You guys can repeat it all you want. I know. I know that more than anyone else I should have done this sooner, quicker, faster. Um biggest regret of my life is not taking my health seriously when I should. You can't change overnight. This has been a long time coming. Finally, things are just like falling into place and I feel like that's a lot of the reason why that's helping. Therapy, you guys. I promise. The right support system. I promise. And I'm not going to be perfect. I don't know when I'm going to reach these 100 pounds down, but it's just like the reason why I want to document this is because I've never lost a hundred pounds in that sense. Like, trust me, I've lost thousands of pounds, let's be real, through yo-yo dieting. Most yo-yo dieters have, let's be real. But I've never, like, said, oh my god, I'm down a hundred pounds. I've never been able to say that. But I know I'm going to be able to this time. So I want to document that, and I'm just so excited. And I don't know, I just feel, I feel good. I feel really good. Hello, welcome to day three of 500 pound girl. <laughs> so my way in, let's just, cause I'm too proud. I am too proud. Today we were at 484.6 when my goal for today was 485.2. So smash that. My goal for tomorrow is 484.2. We would love to be lower, but you know, it is what it is. So there's my way in and I know it's because I only ate 14 something calories yesterday. By that I mean 1400. I don't know why I couldn't just say it like that. Later that day. So it's been a few hours since we last spoke. And since then, I have craved McDonald's chicken nuggets so bad. Mm. I usually get a 20 piece, but like I want it so bad, I feel like I could eat 30. No, not really. But I'm not going to do it because it's only going to upset me if I do it. The regret afterwards will be so much more powerful than the urge to get them. Um, I want to wake up tomorrow and be proud that I said no to this urge. This is a very, very important moment that I document where I want to overeat, binge, just eat for the heck of it so bad, but I'm like actively, uh, actively saying no. I'll be okay. I'll be okay without nuggets. Hello, so welcome to episode four. Not in a good mood right off the jump because I did my weigh in. I was expecting to be down because if you guys remember in yesterday's episode, I was Trying really hard not to binge, and I did not cave. I did not order the McDonald's, even though I wanted the chicken nuggets. I stayed within calories, but I was still up 0.2, and I know a lot of people would tell me in this case, well, stop weighing yourself daily if you can't handle fluctuations. You're probably right, but I'm not going to stop weighing myself daily. I don't know. I'm just a little frustrated with this weigh-in. It has put me in a bad mood. So, I need to learn how to fluctuate um, 
without feeling this way. I mean, I can understand feeling this way if I was up like a pound, you know, but I'm only up 0.2, but it's more than that. Like I was looking forward to like losing weight and it's like, not only did I not lose today, but I also gained the 0.2 whatever hey guys welcome to day five slash episode five of 500 pound girl if you are new here i am simply just trying to reach 100 pounds down um i'm weighing myself daily showing what i'm eating daily and just vlogging my life so it's not like fully just weight related um i am showing other parts of my life i weighed myself and Last night, like, I remember telling you guys, like, I'm swollen, you know, I stayed on track, I ate how many calories I'm supposed to. I think a, a large portion of people really believe that weight loss is science and weight loss, well, I mean, it is, it's like biology, obviously, but it's not the same for everybody at all. Um, a lot of people can look at someone my size and be like, okay, well, if you ate 1,800 calories, 1700 calories you would drop weight really quickly okay yeah <laughs> yeah that's what they say right but i have lymphedema and whenever i go in the car i swell and i retain water i don't want to cry but i feel like i'm going to so um i know to a lot of people this is probably stupid but okay i weighed in today at 485.6 so that means i'm up 0.8 of a pound from yesterday which is frustrating because the day before I was up 0.2 of a pound, so that means the last two days I've gained a pound even though I am eating way below 2,000 calories a day. It's just not as simple as people make it seem, like, oh, stay below this many calories. Yeah, for a lot of people it is that easy. Um, for me it's not, and it's very discouraging, so it's leaving me right now feeling two types of way. I'm so angry that I never want to eat again, but I'm also so angry that I want to binge. I don't know, I just feel very, very sad. Um, I made a bet that I was gonna reach 100 pounds down on episode 16. Okay, not really a bet, but it was just like a thing within myself. I was like, yeah, that seems about right. I don't think so. But yeah, we're gonna focus more on water today um, and hope that it can reflect on the scale tomorrow. I know that I'm not like gaining fat, I'm not, gaining things like that this is strictly water weight but it's still just as frustrating to see that on the scale especially when i have goals especially when i'm motivated and especially when i see the scale go up it makes me so unmotivated it's not even funny so i just feel angry i feel angry i feel defeated i i do and you know the series is about me being completely transparent and honest and that is how i'm feeling right now in this moment We'll see how I'm feeling later. Baz of right now, I don't even want to think about food. I don't want to talk about food. And I most definitely don't want to eat right now. So, very unhealthy, very unhealthy mindset. But that's the truth. Okay, so it's time for my next meal. I feel like I want to binge. Um, it's bad. It's so overpowering that I want to scream. And I'm having to do everything in my power not to do it. And it's a scary place to be in. Wow. Um, normally I cave into these binges. But this is like... Not a good feeling. If you're a binge eater and if you have ever wanted to binge so bad... <laughs> Sorry, I had a sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. If you ever wanted to binge so bad and like you didn't cave into it and like every part of your body, like you have to literally use every cell in your body not to do it. Yeah, that's me right now. Um, something I have been taught an outpatient by not only my psychologist but the dietitian is that when you are a binge eater, if you are craving something, eat it because if you don't you will later binge on it nine times out of ten and that has been the story of my life um a perfect example is like pringles love me a pringle moment if i was craving pringles and i didn't allow myself to have them even if i was like craving them really really bad um or even if i wanted to like binge on them or i had that like 
thought process um if i didn't allow myself to have some i would later on binge on a whole thing of pringles instead of just having like a serving or two servings even um so this is perfect example right now i wanted to order tons of food um, like a seafood boil moment. I wanted to order maybe like Cold Stone. So I, I want to binge on thousands of calories. Instead, I took something that I was craving, which I've been having a lot lately, is the KFC bowl. <laughs> uh, so by allowing myself to have a normal meal, which this is 740 calories, which fits into my calories. This is all I got. I didn't get a drink, didn't get the cookie, nothing. Um, that's all I got, that's all I got, literally. The bag is empty. Nah. Empty, empty. We do have napkins and a spoon, well, a fork. Um, like I want, hot cheetos and just like honestly anything i can get my hands on it's it's uncomfortable it's so uncomfortable to have to sit there with these feelings and the urges it really truly is so i am going to eat this slowly i'm gonna chew slowly i'm gonna take smaller bites I'm gonna thoroughly enjoy the food that I'm eating. These are things that I am being taught um, in outpatient. And I really just wanna eat this super quickly. Like that's another thing. A lot of people are like, okay, so do you know the characteristics and the differences between overeating and like binge eating? Yes. The big one for me is the mentality of it. But another one is when I'm binging, I eat so much quicker and I don't chew as much. I take bigger bites and it's just like, like shoveling it in almost. Um, not in the animated way that you're probably imagining. No, it's just definitely a lot quicker. Um, while overeating, it's a completely different mental headspace. It's like, I'm eating slower, you know thoroughly enjoying the food but during a binge I'm I'm not enjoying the food at all so I'm going to take my positive choice I'm going to eat this and I'm going to enjoy it I'm not gonna watch TV nothing I'm just gonna be it's just gonna be me and the famous bowl well usually while well, binging nine times out of ten I'm watching something on YouTube or I'm watching a TV show so this is this is a technique that I've been taught and I'm putting it to use. It's still really early in the night. Um, it's the end of my calories. I'm eating before I want to, but I'm trying to satiate the hunger so it doesn't go, go into a full binge. So I will definitely give you guys an update at the end of the night regarding that. Okay, so I am here to end the video. Um, I have not binged. It has been so hard not to. Yeah, it's just, whew, it's been rough, but I will feel horrible, horrible, horrible if I do it in cave. I can't expect to never binge again because that's not realistic, but I just don't want it to be tonight. I can't let it be tonight. So I've had 1,695 calories today, I'm pretty sure. So that's like perfect. So I'm happy with that. I'm not gonna eat anything for the rest of the night. I'm gonna have my one diet Coke and I'm gonna continue drinking my water. And yeah, I'm just proud that I didn't binge. Proud, proud, proud. I need to keep that mind frame.